Hey guys, I'm making this guide for the current season of Escalation, but most of the objectives appear in every season. So you can just use this guide in the future if you are a new player or if you need to refresh your memory. Let's start with tier 1. The first one is obvious. The second one, a relic item, has this color and in the name it also says relic. Compared to this one it says ancient relic. Random or DLC assignments can be found here. Uther's Tarot will be found during the campaign and if you have the campaign skip unlocked you can use it from the start. After you got it unlocked just play any random mission and when you equip at least one tarot card to the mission it will count as a tarot mission. Blueprints can be found during missions but also at the store or at the autos shop. Add-ons can be found here. Enhancing an item can be found in the modify tab. When you put an item inside here, then go to the enhance section and you can either increase the crafting capacity or increase the item level. Both will count as enhancing. The reroll all enchantment function can also be found in the modify tab. When you go to reroll enchant section, you will find it at the bottom. The keeper of the forge can be found here. After you visit him, you will unlock this objective. But the shop only appears every weekend, from Friday to Sunday. An intel mission can be found if you are clicking on the intel drops. Those you can find during missions. When you right click them, you will spawn a random intel mission. For this one, you have to equip artificial items in all of your slots, including the set 2. Artificial items are the purple ones. What are cortex fragments? You can find the amount you have when you press on this button and go down. Here you can find how many you have currently. The max you can get every week are 200. They will drop in missions by killing elite, villains or commanders. And later you can exchange them for favors at the Rebus shop. What is the full enchantment stack? This is when you get for the first time an enchant in every slot of your escalating enchantments. The Harbinger of Escalation are the new enemy types. You can recognize them at their aura and at the green skull on your map. There is a 35% chance that a normal shrine becomes a seasonal shrine, so just press one and you get this objective. A seasonal chest are the new golden chests you find throughout missions. The keys for them also drop from the Harbinger enemies and the amount of keys can be found here. Consumable buff items are those. You can find them as drops and sometimes you can also find them at the store. The salvage item function can be found here. To get this one, you also have to go here, go to the appearance tab and just change the color and press apply. To modify your inoculator, 
go to this NPC and just change the component. Then you will get it. The servo skull can only be found in Void Crusades. You can recognize them by this sign. In the mission you will get a message when you are close to it and they also have a special symbol on the minimap. Complete any Void Crusade. You will unlock them at level 35. Then you go here. You don't have to do all missions to unlock this objective. You only have to go to the golden mission at the end. It doesn't matter which one. And after you have finished it you will get this objective. Collect 500 Fate. You will get Fate by completing terror missions, war zones, void crusades or priority assignments. When you have collected 200 cortex fragments, which I mentioned before, then you can go to the rebus shop and up here exchange it for one favor. 100 cortex fragments give you one favor. What are spoils of war chests? Those are the green chests that are protected by a demon. There was a protective hex on the Just chest. kill the demon and open the chests to unlock this objective. This one is obvious. Craft a relic item from a blueprint. You have to find or buy a relic blueprint. And afterwards you go to the crafting section. Go here. And here you can find all the relic blueprints you have learned. The re-rolling feature can be found in the tech tree. It is this one. After you have unlocked it, you can go to the modify tab and just re-roll a single enchant. Every faction has a harbinger of escalation. We have 10 different factions, so just kill 5 different ones. The enchantment clamps can drop from the new harbinger enemies and they can drop from the seasonal chests. And they can also be bought at the store. Just right click one of them to use it. Then you will lock the corresponding enchantment for 5 missions. So they can't be rerolled. When you are killing enough harbinger enemies, you will fill up the green bar. When you reach 800 points, you will generate a seasonal mission. Void keys of escalation drop from harbinger enemies or from seasonal chests. You can find them here. You can only ever have one of them. This one will allow you to open an additional chest at the end of the Void Crusade. Here just open 5 of those new golden chests. This one you will just get while you are playing the game. The escalating enchantments will keep re-rolling while you are killing enemies. Random missions can be found here. To re-roll a base attribute, you have to unlock this skill in the tech tree. Then go to the modify tab. In the re-roll value section, you can re-roll the base attribute. What are skull traps? You can find them throughout missions. They will have a small laser beam shooting out from them. And if you walk through them, they will trigger a trap. You can just target and destroy them. As before mentioned, just equip at least one tarot card into a mission and it will count as a tarot mission. Have three active perks. At level 30 you will unlock the third and last perk slot. Then just equip one of the perks inside here and you will get it. To socket sun code doctrines you have to first unlock this skill. This allows you to use the forging tab. Now you can socket sun codes in empty sockets. If you want to remove them afterwards, you will also have to research this skill. If you want to have a list of all the available Psalm Code doctrines, you can check out the official game compendium. I will leave a link down below. To combine Archaeotech shards, you have to learn this skill in the tech tree. Then you can go to the forging tab, go to shard crafting and here you can combine level 2 shards into level 3. What are sparks of glory? They are this red currency here. 
you can get them by scrapping Archaeotech items, by scrapping Ancient Relic items and by scrapping Morality items. The next two objectives, you just have to wear a red Archaeotech Relic armor and a red Archaeotech Relic weapon. Maxing out the tech tree should be obvious, just to research every single skill here. What are Escalation Stashes? You can find them at the store. When you go to the second page, here you can buy three of them. You can buy them with the new currency. This one drops from the new Harbinger enemies and from the new seasonal chests. This one is the same as before, just now it has to reroll 200 times. For this one, you have to fill up the green bar and then the random mission that spawns has a 15% chance that the seasonal boss will be inside of it. Open 20 seasonal chests, should also be obvious. The next one will be hard. You have to use a single target attack on the harbinger enemy and don't have anything trigger like thunderbolts or other AOE effects. This can take some time and it's easy to aim at one of the minions instead of the harbinger. But with great gear and a lot of boost to your damage, it's doable. You might wanna do this later on when you have better gear and a higher level. Void chests are the chests you get at the end of a void crusade when you finish the golden mission. For this, just socket any of your shards into an empty slot of your gear. This one is a bit tricky, but not too hard. Get some movement speed on your enchants, perks and so on. And then check out this reddit guide. It has all the void crusades. The information is mostly correct, just a few things have changed. But for example, all the information in the Viridian crusade should be accurate. So you can just finish this one. I will also leave a link of this guide down below. This one is also the same as before. Just right click one intel and then equip at least one tarot card to the mission that spawns. This one should also be obvious. Just put points in every skill of one tree and do this three times. What are avatar frames and where can you find it? You have to go here. Then go to cosmetics. Then go here to avatar frames and by this time you should already have unlocked at least two avatar frames from this season. Just equip one and you will get this objective. When you start a void crusade, you can select this one. It will make it into a hardcore void crusade. In this one you will only have one life, but to complete it you only have to do the golden mission. You don't have to finish every mission. This one will be the same as before. In the forging tab, under shard crafting, here you can combine three level 4 shards to craft one level 5 shard. This one will be a little harder for new players. You have to finish a void crusade and completing all missions plus one supreme mission with all the keys and info fragments. You wanna check out this reddit guide again for the void crusade you are choosing. This one is obvious, so is this one. For this one you have to kill the harbinger of every faction. There are 10 factions which are easily recognized by their names. Only the last name is a bit confusing. The harbinger of chaos spawns from tainted rebel guards. Open 50 seasonal chests is obvious again. This objective will take some time. You have to collect one of each psalm code. You can speed it up. If you are using this tarot card, it will increase the drop chance of psalm codes. And if you have this skill unlocked in the tech tree, you can go to the forging tab and under code crafting, you can craft the one you are missing. For the next two, you have to unlock an ancient relic armor and weapon. When you click on them, you will see the requirements to unlock each enchantment. An easy way to get ancient relic items is if you buy this escalation stash 
or the alpha pack. To buy the summon from the custodian, you have to go in his shop and go here. You can buy one summon for one favor. For this one, just wear five red Arcutech relic items. To max out an attribute bar, just put all your points into one stat. You can also get attribute rolls on your items. This will make it much easier. Collecting 2000 fate should be obvious again. To upgrade your tarot cards, you have to click here. But to get the upgrade progress, you first have to go here. Here you will find your tarot cards. And you can use them. They will count towards the progress bar. I would recommend focusing only on one tarot card and maxing it out. Since you also need to upgrade one to level 5 for the last tier. Good choices are this one, because you will need a lot of influence later. This one, so you will get more tarot card drops. Or this one, it will give you a huge XP boost. The first one is obvious. The second one, you just have to complete all Void Crusades. You can check out the guide if you are struggling. Mastering a Void Crusade in Hardcore mode. This one will be the same as before, just now you have only one life. This one I also just mentioned. Focus on one tarot card to max it out to level 5 as soon as possible. For this one you have to wear 5 Ancient Relic items that are completely unlocked. So just complete all the requirements and they have to be at least level 90. This one will take a bunch of grinding. You will have to reach max influence in the whole subsector. If you go to your star map, you can see each subsector. I recommend that you are using this subsector since it only has 4 systems. I recommend you write down those names and then you can check in your mission deployment if you find it. When you find it, you can see the influence reward here. My recommendations for tarot cards is either using this one to get the influence reward boost or using a card that increases the level. The higher the level, the higher the influence reward. In combination with this one and any third option, you will get a big influence reward. You can also just fly to the subsector and then go to the system where you need the influence. On those planets will always spawn some random missions. But they are low level. With the right combination the reward is still not too bad, so you can keep grinding those low level missions until you are maxing out your influence. This objective is the most insane one, and maybe the most insane one we ever got. You have to kill the new Harbinger enemies to get seasonal missions to spawn when the green bar is full, but that mission has only a 15% chance to spawn a boss. And then this mission has to be the right enemy type because we have 10 different factions. So this is a bunch of RNG upon RNG. There are two ways to speed it up greatly. One way is if you go to the mission deployment, to your special missions, and then to Valorous Heart. If you have this DLC, it will be one of the fastest ways to farm for Harbinger enemies. Every elite spawn has a chance to be a harbinger enemy. So just run around the map and kill them until you are filling up the green bar. Discharging. 
when the green bar is full, just press escape and abort the mission. Now check if you got the right faction in your seasonal mission. And if you did not, then just repeat it all over again. Another way is if you just speed run through missions. For example, if you do a purge mission, you can just ignore all the objectives and run through the map, killing all the Harbinger enemies on the way. And at the end just abort the mission. This way you get much more loot, the new currency, keys for seasonal chests, clamps and so on. Because Valorous Heart doesn't drop regular loot. But be ready for an insane grind. The amount of hours you have to put into this might take you weeks or months if you are a casual player. This one is obvious again. For this one you have to use a void key at the end of all void crusades. If you finished all the missions and you still don't have a void key, you don't need to play the whole void crusade all over again. You can just play random missions, killing harbinger enemies and opening seasonal chests until you find the void key and then just do the golden mission at the end. This one is obvious again. This one is also not too hard. Just equip blue items in every slot and have sockets in your armor and weapon. If you are using the heat aura, psalm doctrine and an ethereal psalm doctrine, you should have no problem with this. If you are using a melee weapon, you can also roll shield or life drain as a primary enchant. For the next one, just check out the compendium again. The psalm code doctrines that only require 3 psalm codes are very easy to get. This one is also easy. Full deck means if you are equipping 3 tarot cards. If you are struggling with the last one, you can check out my other videos. My builds can handle 118 missions, so you should have no problems with that. You can also check out my invincible guide if you need more survivability. So I hope this guide was helpful for this season and future seasons. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you wanna support the channel, you can check the link in the description down below.